Yes, we want our kids to know the true meaning of Christmas, but is that enough? That is not the same as understanding Christmas as a whole. And I'm gonna give you five things they need to know about Christmas, so keep listening. If you're new to this channel and you are a parent or a children's minister and you're interested in equipping boys and girls to walk in the supernatural power of God and take them deep into God's word, then you're going to want to click the subscribe button below and the bell icon next to it so you're going to be notified every time I upload a new video, which is once a week on Tuesdays. Now, there are so many other curriculums out there for Christmas, but I want to talk to you about mine and what makes this different than all the other curriculums, or at least most of them. Why do we need another curriculum? Well, the short answer is that in general, very few of those that are in existence go very deep into the Christmas story. Yes, they let kids know the true meaning, and that's good. That's very important. But they're not taking them deep into the Word the way I'm talking about. See, there's so much more to understanding Christmas that our kids actually never learn. One of the biggest battles that we face in discipling the next generation is understanding how biblically ignorant our kids really are and how quickly they are indoctrinated to think that the Bible is just a bunch of stories that have very little basis in reality. They lose the confidence that it can be trusted. In fact, did you know that according to research, the average child who spends their first 13 years in our Sunday schools will tell you that in their opinion, they know everything there is to know about the Bible and they have no further reason for going to church. And you think, well, how can that be? Well, it's because for the most part, all we do is tell them the same basic Bible stories over and over and over again during that time frame. So in this curriculum I wrote, it's called Understanding Christmas, I wanted to give the children as much of the details of the backstory to Christmas to show them the profound, the prophetic, the fascinating truths surrounding his birth that they most likely have never heard before. Now be sure and keep listening because later on I'm going to give you a free downloadable sample lesson from this curriculum and you don't want to miss that opportunity. Now the goal in these lessons was to let kids know that Christ's birth was not an accident, it was not a coincidence, and it's not just another good story. We want them to see that it was proof that God's word is real and can be trusted. So in this curriculum, we cover five basic topics. I'm gonna to start with number one, understanding why he came. Now this helps our kids learn that the story of Christmas did not actually begin in Bethlehem at his birth. Rather, it began before the foundations of the world. They learned that God did not make a last minute decision to send his son to earth because it looked like everything at creation was gonna fall apart. He did not need a quick alternative plan to save the world after Adam messed things up. Rather, it was an on purpose plan to save mankind and make a way to bring people into eternal fellowship with him. Before God ever spun the stars into space, he already knew man was going to sin and become separated from him. So our kids learn that Jesus' birth was actually a part of God's great big master plan of salvation from the very beginning of creation. Lesson number two understanding who he was. Here the kids are going to learn that Jesus was God who came in the flesh, which is the very heart of the Christmas story. You know, Emmanuel, God with us, they hear that part, but do they really understand what it means? Jesus came to earth sneaking incognito, completely under Satan's nose, undetected as God so that he could carry out God's secret mission to save people. Satan was not expecting a baby to come. It's a fascinating truth confirming again, Jesus' birth was no accident, it had purpose, it was not a coincidence, and not just a feel-good story. Our kids need to know that no matter what ideologies, concepts, and religious doctrines they're confronted with, the bottom line is they can trust what the Bible has to say on any subject, including this one. Number three, understanding the prophecies. Now, kids are going to learn what a prophecy is in this lesson and that prophecies are a part of the amazing mystery of how God actually wrote the Bible. Most children will be familiar with things like Jesus being born in Bethlehem, his escape to Egypt, and that the three kings brought him gifts and all. But do they know that these were actually prophecies made hundreds of years before they actually happened? 
Or do they know the prophecies like he was born in the line of King David and he was of the tribe of Judah and why does it matter anyway? It just helps us know that the Bible is authentically the word of God and not just a good story or someone's opinion. You see, the prophecies are major proof that God's plan of salvation was not an accident, that from Genesis to Revelation, he had one gigantic plan for mankind. And this just happens to be in the middle of that story. Oh, and before I forget, be sure to stick around all the way to the end of this video so I can share the surprise ending for you for your annual Christmas play that is completely different than any Christmas play you have ever put on before. Number four, kids need understanding of his birth. Now, they know the basic story story of his birth, but do they understand the significance of the miracles that surrounded it, being born miraculously through a virgin? How even another baby, cousin John the Baptist, recognized he was the Messiah before either one of them were born? How miraculous was it for the old grandma and grandpa, Simeon and Anna, to see the baby Jesus in the temple and instantly know he was the Messiah they had been waiting for their entire lives? Really? Coincidence? And number five, understanding the wise men's gifts. Not even the gifts for baby Jesus of gold, frankincense, and myrrh were an accident. But like every part of this story, the wise men's gifts have great prophetic significance. The story of not just his birth, but his entire life. It's just one more way that God speaks to us about the miraculous prophetic nature of the birth of Jesus, which tells us it was not an accident. Now in each lesson of this curriculum, there is a section for you as the teacher that kind of gives you the core concept of what you're gonna accomplish in the lesson. Then there is a list of all the visuals and object lessons that you're gonna need for that lesson, as well as a scripture verse for memorizing that goes along with your teaching. Now we've included special links to kid-friendly YouTube videos that can be added to your lesson that are just that, that technology, that digital thing that you want to include in your lesson each week. And then the lesson itself is divided into four sections so that depending on the time you have on a Sunday morning, you can teach either all four sections in one Sunday or you can divide them over a two week period. Every lesson includes a dramatized Bible story that goes along with your teaching that the children can act out, which of course they love doing. And by the way, finally, every lesson ends with special instructions to take them into the presence of God for either a time of worship, listening for his voice, or in some other way, interacting with the Holy Spirit. And that is so critical to every lesson. Now, there are review questions in every lesson, so you know how the well the children are learning. And there's 10 extra scripture verses to look up along with the lesson that you taught, either for your own deeper study or to take the kids deeper into God's word. And last but not least, there's a page at the end of each lesson specifically for you to connect with the parents. It lets them know what their child learned, but also it has special prayers that they can pray over their children and words of encouragement for them as they raise their kids for Christ. Now I told you that I would give you a free downloadable sample lesson from this curriculum and here it is. Either click on the link in the upper right hand corner of this video or if for some reason you can't see the link then email me at kidsinministry.com and let me know you would like your free sample lesson for understanding Christmas. Also, there's a surprise bonus. As I said, we have included an amazing Christmas play in this curriculum for churches who do this on an annual basis. You will find this one particularly unique because the focus is not in Bethlehem at his birth. Instead, it is a play about God the Father, Jesus the Son, looking down on earth as the prophetic story of Abraham and Isaac is unfolding. Why this story? Because Isaac was the symbolic picture of Christ being given as the sacrifice for all mankind, and the scene then changes. It morphs from Isaac 
to Bethlehem, the stable and the manger and baby Jesus to show that this was the avenue for God's supernatural plan of salvation to begin on earth as it is in heaven. Now, I hope you found this interesting and helpful. More than that, I hope you'll consider using this curriculum this Christmas and telling your friends about it as well. If you enjoyed the video, please punch the like button in the corner and leave your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe so you get my next video uh, when it comes. Now, till next time, have a very Merry Christmas and thanks for watching. Thank you.